Welcome back to The Red Legacy, Episode 3, The Red Storms. On Mars, a world carved by time and silence, there exists a force more powerful than rivers, more persistent than ice, and more unpredictable than any landscape it shapes. It is a force that awakens without warning, sweeping across valleys, mountains, and plains. A force that can rise from a single grain of dust, yet grow large enough to swallow an entire planet. These are the red storms of Mars, ancient, restless, and endlessly fascinating. The story of these storms begins with the thin Martian atmosphere. Although it is less than 1% as dense as Earth's, it still holds the power to shape the surface of the planet. Mars warms quickly in sunlight and cools rapidly in darkness. This extreme temperature contrast creates rising and falling currents of air slowly stirring the dust that coats nearly every inch of the planet. At first, these winds appear harmless, faint breezes sweeping over red dunes. But Mars is a world where even small changes build into powerful cycles. As the sun heats certain regions, warm air rises sharply, pulling dust upward with it. This dust absorbs sunlight, warms the air further, and lifts even more particles into the sky. The process continues, feeding on itself, until a simple gust becomes a storm. Among the earliest and most breathtaking signatures of Martian weather are dust devils, towering spirals of wind that twist across the surface like silent dancers. Unlike the destructive tornadoes on Earth, these devils glide gracefully over the Martian terrain, sometimes stretching kilometers high. Rovers have captured them drifting across the horizon, their shadows sweeping the landscape like passing ghosts. They clean dust from rover panels, darken soil behind them, and leave delicate tracks that tell the story of their wandering paths. But when Mars tilts closer to the sun during southern summer, the calm ends. This is the season when sunlight becomes intense enough to ignite massive storms. Dust is lifted from the ground by powerful updrafts spreading outward across the plains. What begins as a local disturbance can expand into a region-wide storm in a matter of days. And sometimes, these storms do not stop growing. Under specific conditions, the rising dust travels so high and so far that it wraps around the entire planet. The sky becomes thick with swirling particles. Light fades, shadows disappear, the horizon blurs into a soft orange haze. The landscape enters a twilight that can last for weeks or even months. These rare but profound events are known as global dust storms, the most dramatic weather phenomenon on Mars. For scientists, these global storms are both a puzzle and a warning. They shape dunes, erode rocks, and redistribute dust in patterns that reveal ancient stories of the Martian climate. But they also endanger the machines exploring the surface. Solar-powered rovers face the greatest challenge. In 2018, one such global storm slowly darkened the skies above the Opportunity rover. Day by day, the light weakened until the panels could no longer produce power. Opportunity sent one final signal, and then silence. The storm had taken one of humanity's most dedicated explorers. Yet, the storms also teach us that Mars is not the dead world it appears to be. Beneath its stillness lies an atmosphere in motion, influenced by sunlight, seasons, and the planet's long elliptical orbit. The storms reveal a dynamic climate that shifts, evolves, and pulses with subtle energy. Every year, new patterns emerge. Some storms remain small and local. 
Others expand unpredictably, defying forecasts and challenging our understanding of climate behavior beyond Earth. The dust itself holds secrets. Each grain contains minerals shaped by ancient volcanoes, flowing water, and deep chemical processes. When dust lifts these grains into the air, it mixes layers of Martian history, scattering fragments of the planet's past across vast distances. What settles after a storm is not just dust, but memory, geological evidence carried by the wind. Understanding these storms is essential for the future of human exploration. Although Martian winds lack the force to topple structures, the fine dust they carry can infiltrate equipment, weaken machinery, and cling to solar panels. Future habitats will need protections against this constant challenge, but the storms also offer opportunity. Dust may one day serve as a resource, shaped into building material, radiation shielding, or even processed for the extraction of useful minerals. The red storms embody the balance that defines Mars. Harsh, yet beautiful. Dangerous, yet informative. They remind us that Mars is a world in transition, sculpted by forces both ancient and ongoing. Even now, with its cold deserts and thin sky, Mars breathes in its own way, through the rise and fall of the storms that sweep across its surface. In the end, the storms are not merely weather patterns, they are living chapters of a planet's biography. They whisper across dunes, carve new shapes into the land, and darken the skies like pages turning in the story of Mars. Through them, we witness the continuing evolution of a world that still has much to reveal. The red storms are the heartbeat of an otherwise silent planet. They